Hi all, it's Sunday evening, um, 1220, 2015. As I have mentioned, I'm trying to share two minutes with PJ. Now in this version, we're still in the book of Daniel. This time we're in chapter 6. Within chapter 6, what happened is, is we know uh, the Persians and the Medes had taken over the Babylonians. King Darius is in charge. Daniel was still loved, and he continued to remain in office even under the rule of Darius. And Darius really liked Daniel because he was a good and honest person, and he did not sin. Well, there were others that were jealous of him, and they tricked the king into creating a decree or document saying that no one can worship any other god but the gods of the Persian and the Medes for 30 days. Well, Daniel knew of this document. He knew many of these things, but yet he did not sin. And he was bold. He continued to pray three times a day, as he always had, with his doors and windows open. And he wasn't going to hide because uh, he was not guilty of anything. And he continued to pray. Well, those that were jealous of him, they, they were spies, they told King Darius, and they told King Darius that he had to enforce that rule. And King Darius tried to uh, save Daniel, but eventually Daniel was placed in the lion's den. Now that evening, King Darius did not receive any sleep. And what ended up happening, of course, Daniel did pray to God, and God spared Daniel from, the, from being eaten by the lions. Now, King Darius got up early in the morning and asked if Daniel was, if God had spared Daniel. And, yes, God did spare Daniel uh, from being eaten by the lions. And, of course, Daniel was taken out of the lion's den. Um, and King Darius put those that were jealous, those that accused Daniel, into the lion's den with their families. And, yes, the lions did eat them. Now, what does this tell me? Well, what this tells me is Daniel did not sin, and this is the same with us. If we don't sin, God's going to take care of us, and he will take care of us. And Daniel did pray. He was loyal. He would not sin just to satisfy somebody else's needs. We also should not sin because somebody says so. This is the work of Satan. Now, I, I'm just thanking you, and I think this is a great example. Some, some people say that Daniel was a kind of Jesus. If we remember when Jesus was here on earth, he did not sin. He was tempted in the desert um, by the devil, uh, especially after he was in that desert 40 days. The devil wanted him to uh, make bread out of rock, wanted him to throw himself from a temple, wanted him to worship him. Of course, Jesus defeated him. Um, in the garden, as a man, Jesus three times prayed that he did he wanted not to go to the cross, but then he said, "Thy will be done." And he was victorious, and he received strength. Of course, when Jesus went to that cross, he died on that cross and rose again. He defeated Satan once and for all. And I see, think you see the similarities there. God took care of Daniel. God took care of Jesus. And God will take care of us. And also after this, I'm going to share another video of another person that played the violin. Hallelujah. And she also loves Jesus. I thank you for listening.